Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 11.0.3 and iOS 11.1 beta 2 have been out for a few days and I thought I'd combine them in a video since the first one we'll start with 11.0.3 doesn't have really much to talk about. It seems to be working well for most people. I normally run the regular releases on this phone. It's an iPhone eight and then I have my space gray eight plus here. And so as far as the, the public releases 11.0.3, it seems to be okay for most people. Most people will be fine installing it. I know of a few people that still have battery issues and the ones that have huge battery issues tend to downgrade from the beta, beta two or beta one down to this version without fully wiping their phone. So I've found that to be the case for me. I'm running 11.1 beta two on this phone and I've found that if I downgrade this to the public releases without completely wiping the phone, it really affects performance and battery. So that's something to keep in mind. So with the public release, with the exception of a few people, and I'm not sure how they installed it, it seems to be okay. Battery life has occasionally been a concern for some, but most people tell me it's repaired the battery life issues and it's also much more stable and fixed quite a few bugs. Now, of course, there's going to be updates such as 11.1 and 11.2, and we'll see those later on. 11.1 is still in the second beta, so I would expect a new beta either today or you maybe it's already out by the time you're watching this video, but with beta two, it seems to be pretty stable, but I still have a few bugs. So for beta two, I find that I have the rotation bug a lot. A lot of the times I'll lock the phone, unlock it, and it will be rotated this way and then we'll re-rotate in whatever mode I'm holding it. So if I'm holding it in portrait mode, a lot of the times it will just turn and then turn back. I've found that speed is okay with it. When I upgrade to the beta on this, I've got 10,000 ish benchmark scores. So if you're running Geekbench, you'll be in the 10,000s on this particular version. So everything seems to be fast with the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. But the only negative is, is a few bugs here and there. Apps not working. I find particularly that mail seems to lock up and crash a lot for me. When I go and delete a lot of messages, it just doesn't work properly. And then I have to actually go into it and close it. And there's one right here. Uh, and thanks to Hafed Marzouk for sending along this wallpaper. Uh, he sent this along to me through my email. You can do that. And if I use your wallpaper, I'll give you a shout out, send it to me here or in Twitter. And I leave those at the end of the video or the beginning. Anyway, this particular update is I think pretty good as far as a beta is concerned, but with those bugs, such as the email bug and occasionally just different apps freezing and locking up, I find that the unlock too today, I had a problem when I was using maps and I hadn't ended the navigation, I went to actually use another app and I went to unlock it and it just didn't do anything. It didn't respond. I had to wake it up with this button and then it finally worked. So there's little things like that all throughout I'm finding here and there with this version. Now, the good thing is on the beta version, battery life has been really, really good for me on the eight plus it's easily getting me uh, what I got with 11.0 with with the public release i have no problems with it whatsoever i can confidently use it i use wireless charging or i plug it into my car with carplay with the lightning adapter it charges and if i leave it unplugged all day late at night i've still got 50 percent battery life left and i do a lot of social media i don't do a lot of video watching things like that so i'll be in the youtube creator studio maybe i'll be in my news apps google news something like that instagram twitter uh, inbox, things like that. I don't do a whole lot of video watching or, or really heavy game usage or anything, but I do take a lot of photos and use those sort of apps and I use maps, but that's usually when I'm connected to a car. So that's it for these updates. 11.0.3, I think is pretty safe to install at this point. Nothing really spectacular going on there. As far as 11.1 beta two, I think you're okay if you're using the betas, you'll be fine with that as well. And I would still love to hear how it's been for you. So let me know in the comments below. I always put a poll in this video as well. So I try and keep it somewhere in the middle of the video and ask you how it's doing there. So you can respond there or in the comments. I love to know how it's going for you. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time. <laughs>